Hey guys, it's Ipsy time. <laughs> so, um, I actually got my Ipsy bag a few days ago, and normally I do wait a little bit longer before doing my Ipsy on bagging, but it's really just my reviews and my thoughts on all my Ipsy products. I do that just because there are so many unbaggings and unboxings that it's just kind of like, all right, you've seen all the products, and I find it more helpful to see reviews of the products than just like a haul. So if you wanted to see the haul, earlier you know you can watch a million other people do it i like to do the reviews and this excuse me there's like a feather flying around in this bag there's not too much stuff like skincare or masks or anything like that um, or even hair care where i really had to try them out over the course of like a period of time so i just you know use the products actually i use them um a, quite a few times that i'm wearing like the eye and the lip stuff right now so i'm just going to go ahead and show you what i got first um, everything came in this cute little bag and it's really cute it kind of looks like candies or amoebas or candied amoebas but um it's this bag is by Clary Reese or Rice R-E-I-S um, and it's just one of I guess Ipsy has this new like artist series and yeah just you know if you're really creative and you want to get involved um ipsy has some opportunities coming up maybe to be featured in products or bags so this is cute it has a nice feel it's not like ribbed or anything which is what i would think it's very smooth but it does kind of feel plasticky and the zipper is across the front with the white little ipsy logo and then it's blue on the inside with the ipsy tag here really cute i, I do like the bag it's different than what we normally get I'm going to start with the eyeshadow. This is from Be A Bombshell, and this is uh, Bora Bora, and I feel like most people received this. The colors are really, really pretty. I did use all of them in the eye look I'm wearing right now. I'm not sure how well you can see. Let me get a little closer so you can kind of see. Um, I have this bluish green teal color on my lids in the center, and I kind of blended it towards the edges. I have this dark brown in my crease, but more towards the outer V. This um, more like reddish bronzy kind of color. I guess I could go closer. This reddish bronzy kind of color I put on the inner third and then dragged it into my crease and then blended it up just to kind of marry all the colors and just warm up the look. And then I used that kind of on the upper edge of this color to blend it up to my brow bone. It's not in my brow bone, but it's just kind of like the final transition color. And then I just had to go right back in with this blue um, just to reapply and add any kind of deeper pigmentation that was lost during blending. I'm going to swatch these as I talk about them. This bluish green is gorgeous and it was very easy to apply. Pretty good pigmentation. I did wet my brush. I used like a flat brush and um, I didn't have to work with it as much as I thought I would have to, which was really nice. This darker color, you know, it's pretty standard. These all do have like a sheen to them. I would have appreciated some kind of, uh, you know, neutral that had, that was just matte. Um, but that was nice. It wasn't too shiny either or too shimmery or anything in my outer V. Uh, this reddish color oh, is just absolutely beautiful. I'll put that right here. Look at the pigmentation on that swatch. Bad boy. And these are really creamy too. And then this lightest color here, you can see here, it's just a light color, but it does have pigment. So this is a really pigmented quad. Um, really liked it. I like the packaging. I do like Be A Bombshell. I never heard of, heard of it until I got Ipsy, but I am very happy with all of the eye products I've gotten from Be A Bombshell. There have been like multiples, like the stick for the lips and the cheeks, or just like a cheek or a lip crayon. I'm just not a fan of that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I really like this a lot. So I was really happy with this. And just so you guys know, I don't know where my card went, but this was like a whole like spring break is coming, you know, travel and vacation kind of theme. So that's why, you know, you have like a little Bora Bora thing here. Um, Bare Minerals, we got this lipstick sample size. And this is in Get Ready. And this is what it actually looks like in here. And it says Life is Short, Wear Bright Lipstick, which is really cute. But I'm going to go ahead. This is what the color looks like and I'll swatch it right there very creamy you can see right there there's like definitely like a nice um it's not a shimmer or a shine it's just a 
very moisturizing. That's what it looks like. That's what it feels like. I'm wearing it right now. I am wearing like a more of like a fuchsia. I think it's, yeah, I think it's like a pink fuchsia colored lip liner just to make it a little bit more pink and bright. Um, but it's beautiful, super pigmented. I absolutely love it. Really excited about that. And to get something from Bare Minerals, even if it's a smaller lipstick, I mean, this is going to last you quite a while. And it is just like a cute little thing. This is something that's perfect for me to keep at work, where it's like, regardless of what I'm wearing, if I need to reapply and I don't have the time to reapply like a bold red or purple or, you know, some crazy lip, I could swipe this on. This is just like a nice work school appropriate neutral. So really happy about that. I thought that was a really nice addition. And it's a good brand, which helps. The last makeup product I received is from Chella, and it's a felt tip eyeliner. And this is in Blue Indigo, and this is what it looks like. Chella is another brand that I've never heard of until Ipsy. I mean, it's really long. Um, I am not wearing this today. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do this again so you guys can actually see but you can make it thicker, you can make it thinner. The pigmentation is great. It's very wet when it goes on, but it dries like instantly. So look, nothing is going nowhere. Like that's pretty impressive, the eyeshadow is, but that's like super impressive. Um, it's a little bit difficult to get off, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but this girl is really bad about winged liner, liquid liner. Any kind of liner that's not something I could smudge out, but I really like this. Let me see, is this, it doesn't say that it is um, waterproof, um, but with soap, it didn't, like with regular face cleanser, it didn't really come off, but with makeup remover, it did. I really like this. It didn't smudge. Like I said, I mean, you saw how quickly, like I put that on and it dried instantaneously. So this is not something that's going to be very forgiving. If you're the type of person like me that does stuff and then needs to clean up with a Q-tip, make sure you have some makeup remover nearby and you are gonna have to touch up with concealer because the makeup remover will obviously take off whatever other makeup is underneath. So, but I really do love it. And Chella is a little bit of a higher end brand. Um, I have eyebrow products from them, the Clear Brow Gel. Um, I also think we have like a brow highlight, things like that. And those are usually regular price, like $19 and upwards. So this is a really great buy. This is a really good bag. I only had four products, which was kind of like disheartening. And I know some bags came with nail polishes. So I was expecting it, even though I wasn't like psyched about it. Uh, old school word, psyched. <laughs> but, and I have so many nail polishes. I don't need another one. But I was just kind of like, oh, just four products? But they're actually really good products, you know? So can't really complain. The last one is Vita Liberata Luxury Tan Phenomenal Finest Silk. This is a two to three week tan lotion in medium. And this is for your face and body. That's what it looks like. And this has 6.67 ounces, 20 mil. And uh, it has all the ingredients. Yeah, and it doesn't really say much else. Oh, it does say the tan will last up to four times longer than regular tans. Um, so, okay, independently tested via user trials. I'm hoping that means they don't test on animals. So let me just squeeze a little bit out. So you can see this is medium. Scary, right? So let's just kind of blend this into my hand. This is what it looks like. So, okay, I know this hand has a million swatches, but already you can see a difference. So I um, just did put this on like my arms the other day just to see. I mean, you're not going to be able to see because I'm all covered up, but I did like it. There is a slight, slight scent. It's not perfumed, it's not chemically, it's not like coconuts, it's just a slight, random, non-scented scent, which is nice. It doesn't smell like anything. You know, I don't really want my tanning lotion to smell like anything. Um, dry, it soaks in very quickly, it's not greasy, uh, it doesn't wash off crazy and you know streaky or anything like that and as you saw it comes out really dark which makes it really easy to blend and apply one thing that's hard is with lighter um, you know white or clear or any kind of uh, suntan lotion not suntan lotion but what are these called tanning um, creams and stuff is that you can't really see where you're applying and where you're not applying 
so it can get a little bit difficult but this was really easy to blend in I also like the immediate color that you get I don't even know if you guys can see but this hand just looks more ghostly <laughs> than this one um, but I did put this on my face a few days ago um, I kind of just put like a very little bit because it's my face. I put it on over the weekend and I didn't want to break out and just blended it. And it was nice. This isn't going to last like a million years, but I will test it out and I'll update you guys, you know, in a couple weeks once I'm done with this. It seems like a good amount of product in here. I can't tell how much is actually in here because I feel like a lot of these samples are really like halfway full. But this feels like it might actually be full. So I was actually happy with it because I do have different types of tanning lotions and I'm not thrilled with them. I don't know how much this costs. If I look it up online, I'll annotate it somewhere or put it down in the info bar. That way you guys can know how much a regular size costs and how much product it has. But... I feel like this probably isn't cheap, so it may not be something I would repurchase. And just FYI, by now I hope you guys know that I am a little bit more frugal than some other people. So there are things that I'm willing to spend money on and other things that I'm just like, I can't bring myself to do it. So this may not be something I would repurchase again, but I wouldn't complain if someone gifted it to me or something along those lines, because it is really nice. It gives a nice color. It's very natural looking. It's not too orange or or green excuse me but um but yeah so I do like it so even though I just got four products and I was like hey what the heck um there are four really great products we have a great quality lipstick that is like a neutral color anyone can wear it whether or not you're gonna like it is up to you but it feels really moisturizing on the lips I have worn it several times it is a color I already have a little mini sample of so I already am familiar with it and you know I use it with different colored lip liners and you can make it more nude, more pink, more brown, more red, whatever you want. It just kind of goes with any kind of skin tone. Moisturizing, it doesn't bleed. And the wear time is probably about like four or five hours, which isn't bad. And I play with my lips a lot because I'm random. The eyeshadows are just awesome. I really wanted to use this today. I'm filming this. It's St. Pa Patrick's Day. So if you're Irish, mwah, I'll kiss you. You're Irish. I do have like 0.0% Irish in me. Um, so throw me a kiss. <laughs> but yeah, I really wanted to use this like aqua tealish kind of color on my eyes and I got some compliments so I really really enjoyed this quad I think it's beautiful the lipstick the liner is really fun and I like that it's an indigo color because it's dark but I'm looking at it now it's dark but it's not black it's just kind of like liner Ooh, you're special <laughs> you know so I liked it I actually really really like this bag so in the comments down below let me know what you got in your ipsy bag uh, I guess I should have said this to begin with but ipsy is a monthly subscription it's $9.99 that is including shipping or you could say shipping's free um, but Michelle Fawn actually curates everything and there's a whole bunch of YouTube gurus who uh, you know recommend the bags and endorse the bags and they're on the site and everything like that that. And yeah, I really like it. You fill out your profile little quiz thing and they try to send you products every month that are geared towards your preferences. It's not always going to happen, but um but it can happen. So I do have a link down below if you guys want to click on that, it'll bring you to Ipsy and you can sign up there. Um and you can do it on a month by month basis. You can buy a year. I do it on a month to month basis. When it comes to Ipsy, I've had it maybe since I think I've had it for like a year and two months and there was one bag it was this past January that I just wasn't feeling at all and I actually ended up liking two of the products but um but yeah so I'm thinking of doing like a best and worst of Ipsy at some point maybe you know in a few months just so you guys can see what I've been loving and hating but yeah so like I said let me know in the comments what you guys got on your Ipsy bag um if it was anything different than mine or what you were really looking forward to and didn't get like me but uh, I saw some people got some fun stuff so yeah that's it I hope you guys enjoyed my little review let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video stay beautiful and stay blessed bye